No. This is DIY Hummingbird Feeder Warmer 101 from <laughs> Dwayne Lemer. He has everything prepped and we'll go through the skills and the tools that you need to get this done and to keep your feeder warm in the winter. Short extension cord, three wires, needs a ground, be the best way to do it. Your seven and a half watt light bulb, you can get at your hardware store, it's like an appliance bulb. You need to get yourself a little light socket like this, it has a hot and a neutral side and then it needs mounting bolts on it. That's very important to help keep everything together. I put photocells on them because you usually will plug it in. Um, it's a little. It's probably the most expensive part you have here. You Help. don't necessarily need that, right? You would just have to unplug it during the day if you didn't exactly. want to do that. That's or well, leave it plugged in all the time yep. and let it just run. Yep, it'll run automatically at night when it gets dark out. A um, couple of 632 bolts and nuts. Make sure they're long enough to go through uh, your light socket and your photocell because your photocell is going to mount underneath this so it sticks a little bit out on the bottom and it'll go through the can and we should be able to tighten it up and have hardly anything sticking out when we're done. You're going to need a few assorted wire nuts and uh, stake ons I call them and uh, I use one eye for the ground I used a couple of these for the uh, the hot and the neutral connections onto your socket and then a couple of wire nuts also you're gonna need a strain relief for the cord um, for when you stick it through the can that you don't get it caught on these sharp edges and stuff like that and this is what the cans gonna look like on the bottom once you drill it out I use a step bit looks like that um, you can power through for the big one you can get this one set up for the the photo cell make sure that you don't push it too far in and make the hole too sloppy otherwise things won't fit right and then you want to do a couple little 3 16 holes there for these so that you can bolt everything down. Uh, we use just a, a can of bush beans is what this was. It's a larger can. Kind of gives you a little bit of room in there. You could make a shorter can, but you need the, the, the diameter to be able to get everything to fit in. Now to dry fit this and to get your pattern on the bottom, drill your hole in the middle first for your photocell stick the photocell through that hole you can take your lamp holder set it on top and that's kind of the way it's going to look inside and then you're going to be able to put your bolts in there and they'll stick through like that so on the inside this is what it's going to look like and then of course on the inside you're going to shove it out and you'll be able to put this nut on to sandwich this in there and you want to make sure that you don't get it in this area here because that's where your cord will plug into boom like so so you're gonna have to kind of move things around move it over a little bit make sure things fit properly so that uh, things aren't in the way of each other there okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and start assembling this and the first thing you're gonna want to do is take your cord Gently stick it through the hole. Try not to chafe it and cut it on those sharp edges. Pull it out and get it out here so that you can start doing some wiring. Um, now I know this because I've done it before, but you're gonna have to cut your neutral wire down just a little bit. Strip it off. And you're gonna need to join it together with the neutral wire on your um, power cord. And how do you know that's a neutral? Because it's white? Because it's white. Okay. And then we're gonna put a little stake on on there. Make sure the wire sticks through a little bit. I usually twist them together. And then you need to have 
a crimping tool like this. This happens to be a pair of needle nose that I have. But you'll stick it on there, put it in like so, and then you need to crimp it down really hard so it pulls on those wires. Make sure that they're tight and you're good to go. Okay, your second wire you're gonna to need to do um, is your ground wire. And for this one, I usually, because I've only got one wire in there, I kind of double it up a little bit, just so that when you stick it in here, it crimps on it. Same thing, you're gonna come in there, you're gonna crimp this, so you're squishing that wire good. Okay, so that make sure, tug on that, make sure it doesn't pull out, and then you're good to go. Okay, your hot is going to go on um, the black wire going to the photocell, okay? And that one there, you can cut and strip that also. And this one's gonna get a wire nut. And what this is gonna do is this is gonna take power to the photocell and the switch leg, what we call on the photocell, is the red wire. So we're gonna take this, give it a little twist, put this on there, give it a little twist. Make sure you get that on there tight. I try and make sure that I, when I get a little twist on the wires there once you're holding it, and that should be plenty tight. That should stay on. It shouldn't come loose, but if you're doubting your skills, put a little tape on it. Put it on the wire nut, start about halfway like that, wrap it around, and then as you twist the tape around, come down and get it around the wire so it kind of holds everything together there. And I use what's called 33. It's a 3M scotch and it's 33 is the number on the tape. It stays soft when it's cold outside, doesn't get real hard to, and it doesn't or it sticks better than the other wire of the other tape um, okay so basically that you're kind of ready to go here what we can do is we can shorten up this red wire a little bit and for that one there we're going to also put on a stake on single wire i'm going to strip it out fold it over and kind of double it up a little bit put my second stake on on there and give it another crimp. Like so. Okay, so we're now ready for a little assembly. So basically we got power to the photocell. It's got a neutral, it's got a switch leg and a ground. So what we're gonna do is on your light socket, you've got a copper side and a white side. Copper side's always your hot because it comes up to the center post of the lamp, and that's what you want. You don't want to you don't want to heat up power to this uh, screw shell inside because what's going to happen is it's going to possibly shock you at some point in time if you don't get it right. Tighten down. Tighten those down really good. Make sure that pull on them that they're tight. Put your neutral on the other side. Actually, something's telling me that I need to go on this side of it also, just because of doing this before. I've got the wires going opposite directions, the neutral and the hot. Tighten that down. Make sure that's tight. A little bit more. And it should be good. Okay, now we're ready to go ahead and stick this down inside of our can. 
So this is the tricky part and you may have to work at it just a little bit. Um, and make sure when you do the ground that you stick it through, stick the bolt through before you stick it down in the can and put it through. So at least you have a ground to the can. If something were to touch the can uh, via the hot wire, it's going to cause the breaker to trip in your panel and that'll keep you safe. And you should be plugging this into a GFI anyway out on your front porch of your house. So we have outlets under our eaves of our house for Christmas lighting. So it's already GFI protected out to there. So that's basically it. We're going to do a little assembly right now and we'll get this together and we'll come back in a couple minutes. So he's kind of taped it together. Kind of done a little serpentine around here with tape. I've come off of the screw side, went down underneath the photo cell, came back up the other screw side, came around and held the other side just to kind of keep it together in a little package. It saves a little frustration uh, with some of the assembly. So um, I try and keep all the, the wire parts down below this, but it does get full down here inside the can. So basically from that, we're gonna take it and shove it down inside the can. And you might have to pull out that power cord just a little bit. Get everything down in there. The photocell is going to, the wires on the back of the photocell are going to want to kind of push up against the can. It makes it a little hard to get it in there, but you should be able to, if you've centered it up properly, to be able to get that in there. And it should be okay. Now our, our screws are down in there also. You may have to put a finger on those and do a little twisting. Get them all lined up. Yep, get them all lined up. One part of this you could skip if you didn't want the photo cell is attaching that bottom gray piece and you would just attach just the light bulb um, base to it if you didn't want the photo cell, right? part getting the screws lined up inside. As you can see, we've got the photo cell in. It's all tightened down nice and tight. Inside, you can see that the ground wire down there is around one of the posts. It's tight, so it's contacting the can. So you should be able to um, short out a circuit breaker if you were to get a hot wire onto this. And you can see the hot wire right over here. There should be plenty of clearance there. You're, your neutral's there, you should be safe. Thing you wanna do is maybe tuck some of these wires down because you are gonna have a light bulb there on top and that will um, go ahead and uh, light up once you uh, get it all together. 
we can take this and we can stick the light bulb down inside of there right now. You don't want to put anything bigger than probably a seven and a half watt light night light, uh, maybe a 15 watt refrigerator bulb, but uh, any higher than that, I mean, seven watts is going to be warm enough to keep those uh, lights going. So uh, we've got everything snugged in. I'm just going to check this other side where the ground is a little bit, tighten it down just a little bit more. Perfect. Okay, now what we're going to do, you got the cord hanging out of the bottom here from our power connection. We want to go ahead and stick this on so that the strain relief, um, you can't pull this cord back out and, and then short, short it out once you do that. So the proper way to put this in is you can see this is down inside of it. So when this wire pulls up on it, it's going to pinch it up against the side. If you had it on like this, you can see the, the, the wire will push right through there and you can pull it out. So the, the reason for this is just a strain relief. So basically you can slip this on here. It is a little bit more difficult. The reason why we have to, we can't put it on before is because you need to have, you gotta have the, the wire being able to be pulled up and stuff like that. So you can slip this in, you kind of push it on there. And you get it in like so. And then what you got to do is you're going to have to squeeze this and you're going to stick it in the hole and then let it expand itself again so that it holds on to it. Basically, that's what it does. It holds that wire from pulling out. And it's not just like anything. You don't want to grab a, a wire and pull on it from the cord. You want to hold on to the can. This is just basically to facilitate the electricity going into it. And if I have an outlet right here, Photocell should, um, should allow it to come on at first. And then once there's enough light on the Photocell, which the shop here is pretty bright, it should um, go ahead and come on, or it should shut itself off. But it'll come on at first. And, you know, that's pretty warm. It's not too bad. And the other thing we mentioned didn't mention before is when you guys um, get your your feeders, you're going to have to mark the can where the little legs are on the feeder, so that we can we can cut these down and um, with a pair of tin snips, because that's what's going to secure it to our our feeder. I've already pre-marked them. You just need to cut down and make little tabs. Make the cuts even. That can pull out like that. Be careful those are sharp. And we've got Coco stuck in the garage wanting out. Jake's outside howling. And we will take this in the house and show you how to hook it to the base of the hummingbird feeder. Yep. That's where the feeder is right now. Yep, it's up at the house. We're gonna go, we're gonna go, go get that and we'll connect it and... We'll show you the finished product. 